about Robert Jordan. Uh, Robert Jordan wrote several Conan the Barbarian novels for Tor Books, um, including a novelization of the movie Conan the Destroyer, and they pr- proved successful. And he proposed an idea for an epic, uh, the epic fantasy series, um, The Wheel of Time. And now I'm going to go into some ca- uh, the people, uh, the main characters. Um, Of course, we know Rand. He becomes the uh, dragon we born. And um, we have Perrin and Matthew Cawthon. Uh Perrin becomes um, like a... Uh, his counterpart is a wolf. And he becomes... And Perrin becomes very um, efficient with an axe. Uh, so those three um, have different uh, uh, abilities, so to speak. Uh, that's because of Rand's um, being the Dragon Reborn. Some powers have leached out. It has changed Perrin and Matthew. Um, Rand, Althor, Perrin, Iber, and Matrim Cawthon are the three... Uh, focal points about which the Wheel of Time weaves. Um, Events swirl around them, sometimes forcing others to follow them, and sometimes forcing them to follow their destiny, whether they like it or not. No matter what they do, somehow, it'll always go back to what they're supposed to be doing. Rand is the son of um, a shepherd. He can channel the one power that uh, guaranteed death and madness. But he drew the crystal sword Kalendor from the Stone of Terror and proclaimed himself the Dragon Reborn. He is also the subject of a great many prophecies and legend, many of which promise salvation from the Dark One. His titles are King of Ilian, Dragon Reborn, Cormor of the Sea Folk, True Defender of the Light, Lord of the Morning, Prince of the Dawn, and not always respected in the courts as of many other nations. He is also known as he who comes with the dawn, and he is referred to as shadow killer by the wolves. Perrin Ibera. He's born and trained as a blacksmith. He was swept up along with Matt and Ran. Um, he has discovered an uncanny ability to communicate with wolves. He's a wolf brother to them, and his wolf name is Young Bull. Positions of ever-increasing authority have been thrust upon him, and he is known to his followers as Lord Perrin Golden Eyes. Matrim was something of a prankster. He, he has developed an utterly astounding lucky streak. Matt's luck almost always works in his favor. He sounded the legendary Horn of Valor at Palm, summoning heroes of legend to throw back the invaders. Like random Perrin, He has found himself in positions of leadership, whether he likes it or not. He was also granted the memories of many talented military leaders until the end of the Hundred Year Wars. And since parting ways with Rand, he leads the Band of the Red Hand, basically his own personal army. The Man of the Red Hand was a legendary group of heroes that fell in defense of Manatharin. Okay, um, there's... Some characters in the book called Dark Friends, Shadow Sworn, um, whatever. One um, main character is Pat and Fane. Uh, he was once a peddler and a dark friend. He was changed by the Dark One's power to search for potential dragon reborn. He's, his mission is to seek and um, destroy anybody who has the one power, any males to keep the, the dragon reborn from um, taking over. Um, Agenor, he was a leading biologist before turning to the shadow that'll it, to allow him to experiment on living things. Um, most shadow spawn can trace their heritage back to those experiments. He was sealed in the uh, tomb by Luz Theron, but was near the surface, so he was one of the first to escape capture and his body was affected by the passage of time in hideous ways. Um, 
there's just so many, so many characters. Um, some of the women characters. Um, the Aes Sedai. You have Moraine. Um, she is high um, in elevation as an Aes Sedai. And she's there to help him with his powers and kind of point him towards which way he needs to go. Um, so Moraine is with him most of the time. Um, we also have... Um, Nenevieve, um, she's pretty stubborn. So, there's just many, 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 many characters um, in this group. And it just evolves and evolves um, around them. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think of what else. They're on this journey. They need to defeat... Um, the Forsaken again, the Shadow, and uh, many trials and tribulations along the way. The journey is an excellent one. Um, it's in the same category as, you know, good versus evil, um, where, you know, good's going to triumph, of course. Um, sometimes you don't think it's going to, but, um, but it does. And... All their paths take them to one thing. They fight him at the end. Doesn't matter if they're a thousand miles away. Um, this is one of the great epic novels uh, series in in time. I mean, it, it, it's just amazing, and it ranks right up there with uh, J.R. Tolkien with, of course, Lord of the Rings. Um, I wish they they had a series called uh, The Wheel of Time, but I don't think they. If anybody has seen that, um, I have, but it doesn't stick to the the books pretty much. It it goes way off, and I I couldn't even watch it anymore. And it's it's too bad because I wish they would make these into epic movies, just like uh, the Lord of the Rings. So, with that said. Um, that it's going to be my next books. We're going to discuss a little bit, of course, is Lord of the Rings, J.R.R. Tolkien. What a genius. Uh, the man came up with his own language. Um, I could sit and watch those movies over and over again. I have read uh, the books. Just amazing, just amazing. It'd take me a lifetime just to learn the language, but wow. Um, and the fact that with the movies, Christopher Lee was able to talk with him um, on his character was just astounding. It was just, what a opportunity. Um, I don't know if any of you have read the books by him, but uh, please do, please do, In the Wheel of Time. There is also another series called um, the Sword of Truth series, and that's by Terry Goodkind. It's another uh, fantasy adventure journey, uh, such like the Wheel of Time series. I, I could just go into them so deep, but um, again, with the Wheel of Time, you have Rand, you have his two buddies, Matt and Perrin. You have the Aes Sedai, who um, are divided into two, whether to help him or whether to gentle him. Um, they're facing the dark shadow. Um, he gets taken. He gets uh, taken prisoner. He's uh, uh, punished. He's just taken. Um, they want to gentle him, but he's been through a lot. But at the end, all the and all these other factions come into play, um, and the, everything just falls into place. So uh, if you get a chance, please read the books. And um, I got some more fantasy music for you, and it's all fantasy. Um, I hope you're enjoying that. And this one's called um, Herald of Justice. <laughs> 